Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for code reviews, on-site training, and contracting. Now, in the last episode, I showed a pretty quick example of using GDB GUI, which is a handy little web-based front end to our GDB command line tool on Linux. Uh, I did not mention in the last episode, but it is actually got some testing support for LLDB also. But I started with this example here of just a simple map and we are setting some values in it and I use that to demonstrate the debugging GUI for GDB, GDB GUI that is. And I wanted to take this example to show an example of another tool and this is going to be another pretty fast example but I'm really pleased with this. For anyone who has done any kind of coverage analysis of their source code, you've probably gone through all the steps where you have to compile your project with dash dash coverage and you know run it, which generates a coverage database, and then take that coverage database and use that to generate the analysis of your code. But if you just kind of want something relatively quick, or if you're using one of the like coverage tools that exist today on the internet like uh, coveralls there is actually a new tool so we already have our project built with dash g so for a reminder that would be like this dash g and we have this built with our debugging symbols enabled there is this project called kcov and you can just run your project through it remarkably easily. You have to give it an executable name and an output directory name. So let's just do that. Now I haven't actually created the outdoor yet and let's see if it gives us an error. It did. That's fine. And as always it's important to have your parameters in the correct order. So we ran our project and that was it. It ran just as if we had had a bunch of unit tests or something like that. And it created in our outdoor this uh, website. So let's go ahead and launch this with Firefox and see what we've got. So we have our binary a.out and we can click on that. And it has shown us the code coverage, bam, just like that for all of the things that we have on out. We could go in and we can set up things that we want it to ignore and you can do multiple binaries and use those to add to the coverage report and stuff. But we really didn't have to do any hard work at all here. So this is, again, just an outstanding, easy to use tool from my perspective for being able to get some quick coverage output reporting and it has a ton of options and I could zoom the interface. It uh, looks like a pretty impressive tool, definitely something to keep in mind when you are doing your next code coverage reporting on your C++ project. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.